What is up everybody? Happy Tuesday. It is week 16 of Run to Gun reps. This is where I'm going to the gym to train my clients, but we're flexing the mental reps on the way to the gym. We're not wasting that commute. We're using the commute to get better because this year, remember we said at the beginning of 2021, 16 weeks ago, that we said we were gonna do it differently and this year doing it differently requires to do different things, obviously. We can't expect to be different without putting in the reps to actually become different, you guys. So, today, I wanted to touch on a little stuff from last week, last week, and this week. It all tied in together, it was pretty cool. So, I actually took my youngest son, or my second child, Eric, out of daycare like two weeks ago. So pulled him out of daycare. He's only got like a year left anyway. So pulled him out of daycare and uh, spend more time with him. I think we can swing it with our schedules. And so I have him a lot more with me. I'm thankful that my schedule allows me to be able to have that flexibility. Since I'm self-employed, I can make it work a little bit better. And uh, so he's been with me a lot the last two weeks, which has been awesome. And he's with me at the gym <laughs> last week, and I set him up a little. I, I'm working out in, bet in between clients, and he is with me, so he wants to do a little workout with me. So I, and he's done that before, but this time it was just a little different. It was just me and him. You know, Eva and Amy weren't there, and so he grabs these two. We have like these two little mini, like three-pound kettlebells gym so he grabs them and I have him do five squats and then he I have him lay on the floor and he does like these five little sit-ups then he flips over and he does his five little push-ups and he does that circuit like five or six times and uh, because he sees me doing like a little circuit so it was cool he was all jacked up about it well yesterday I had him at the gym again and I, I was working out and finishing up uh, a client and I see, I look over and I see him like all the way across the gym and he has his three pound kettlebells out and he, I hear him counting, that's what I like looked over there and he's repping out his squats, counting them out and then he jumps on the ground, he's hammering out his sit-ups, flips over, he hammers out his push-ups, gets back up grabs his kettlebell, starts hammering out his squats, <laughs> hammers out his sit-ups, and he's doing that same circuit and counting out his reps that, that I had him do the week before. And I was just like, man, I didn't tell him to go over there and exercise, I didn't tell him to, to do that, but he was over there executing what he was taught from the week before from me. And I was, it was just such a cool moment to really see that and to just be like super proud within that moment. And so I was just really excited and it just goes like, it just reinforced to me that importance of setting the example, you know, setting the temperature, setting the expectation, being and being a leader for our families for our children right and because uh, that's that's been a big thing for me in 2021 um, and the reason for for why I'm, I'm working and training so hard within my own self-development is because I just want to be so much better within my house um, and so with my kids is definitely a big portion of that along with with my wife so I obviously had to find, I knew there was a verse in there about raising your kids up right so they don't stray about it, but I can't memorize verses very well. Um, but, so I looked it up, and it's Proverbs 22, 6, and it says, train, train up a child in the way he should go. Even when he is old, he will not depart from it. And so I knew that was in strict scripture because I'd heard it. I can remember a lot of things that I hear, I just really struggle to memorize like the exact verse, but it's good because then I can still go back and find it. It's not difficult to just like get on the internet, you guys, and, and find these things. Um, and so don't feel bad if you can't 
But if you're like me and you struggle to memorize, you know, the exact scriptures, but just be be listening and be hearing and, and, and put them in your minds because you can go find them again. Um, and so that was Proverbs 22, 6 and just related so heavily with, with what happened to me this last week between me and Eric. And that Proverbs 22, 6 is train them up in the way he should go. Even when he is old, he will not depart from him. And I just think about that so much too and in how I was raised and how much, you know, effort my dad put into so many things and that how, you know, when I've had, when you reach those whys in the road and you have those choices to make, those tough decisions, how the discipline and character has the opportunity to arise and you don't stray from those right decisions because of the way you were raised. And so it just went so heavy with, with, you know, between me and Eric this week with, how that happened and, and, and him being only four years old and uh, how he was just doing what he was taught the week before and applying it and executing on it. And I see that at such a young age that just, it just encourages me about, okay, the work being done right now within myself, how that's going to, I'm going to be able to pour that into him and how he's going to bear so much fruit from that. And so, and then, and then so forth and forth. Uh, into future generations, you know, with his kids. So super excites me, got me jacked up, and I wanted to share that with you guys this morning of that uh, train them up, train them up in the way they should go so even in the future that they don't depart from it. Pretty epic, you guys. It really excites me. But thanks for tuning in today to that little bit, that that short story, you guys. Um, we'll be back on here at 5.35 a.m., just like we are every single week. On Thursday, we do it Tuesday and Thursday. So we'll see you in like 48, 47 hours and 45 minutes. How about that? All right, you guys, we'll see you then. Thanks for jumping on today and have a great rest of your Tuesday.